Hello, my name is Amin. Today I'm going to present a collaborative work between EMU CIU from North Cyprus and Shiraz University from Iran. What we have done in this study, we have tried to model the pressure head propagation in a confined aquifer connected to a water source, source such as a river. And the literature, usually what they have done, they have used this model to, for, for homogeneous confined aquifer, but we saw a gap that for heterogeneous confined aquifers, there are lack of studies. Uh, when the aquifer is uh, homogeneous and confined, the problem becomes very simple and easily with fixed second law with two assumptions and for boundary conditions, easily you can solve the problem with uh, complementary error function. As you can see, H, X, and T has a relationship that easily you can find the uh, head pressure in any distances from the source that you have. But when the story changes and you have heterogeneous uh, aquifer, uh, this equation has no use. Uh, what we did, we used a superposition model uh, to divide the confined aquifer to, uh, uh, for example, in this case, five different segments. And we deal with each segment separately as a homogeneous aquifer. So we define the heterogeneous confined aquifer as a combination of couple of home, uh, as a couple of, uh, sorry, as a couple of confined, homogeneous confined aquifers. The equation that we propose is that when the head propagation starts from the source, for example, in this case, the river, where the first segment we consider it as a homogeneous confined aquifer. So again, the same with the fixed log and the complementary error function. We can do the simulation and we can find the pressure head distribution. Then when we reach the second segment, again, we use the previous uh, head pressure that we have. And with that head pressure, we continue to obtain the head pressure in all segments. So basically, with a combination of couple of homogeneous confined aquifers, we were able to model a heterogeneous confined aquifer. The model that we propose and we made, uh, it's really wide, it can be easily used. But in this study, we did three, t three case studies. One, we did a single head jump and drop in the stream flow, and we did the analysis, find the results. Then we did a gradual head increase, in the stream water level and connected to the heterogeneous confined aquifer that did the analysis based on this application and find the results. And finally, we did a gradual head increase in the stream water level connected to the heterogeneous confined aquifer. Again, we ran the model and find the results. For all of them, we use uh, five different, uh, different, aquif uh, different aquifers. We, div we define them ba based on the diffusion factor with in aquifer one and aquifer one we consider as a homogeneous and all the diffusions for all the segments are equal to each other. But for the other aquifers, we use different diffusions to have a heterogeneous uh, condition. Uh, as you can see for two of the aquifers, aquifer number two and aquifer number three, the average uh, diffusion factor is equal to each other, but the situation is vice versa. In the aquifer two, we start with a high amount of diffusion and we end up with a low amount of diffusion. But in aquifer three, we start with a low amount of diffusion and end up with high amount of diffusion. The diffusion factor that I was discussing, we, defi we defined it as transmissivity of the saturated aquifer over the stratavity with the unit of meter square over second. For the first case when we did the experiment, uh, we saw that when we have a sudden jump in the, the water source, such as river, but we don't have it in the real life, but mathematically, if we have a sudden jump in the river, uh, uh, as you can see, the wave, the pressure head propagation in the aquifer is approximately linearly, 
but when it's gradually increasing, we will have a kind of curve. But eventually, as time passes, uh, the gradual increase in the water so source or the sudden jump in the water, water source will end up with similar uh, head propagation. Uh, the interesting finding that we had is that for the two aquifers that I mentioned, aquifer 2 and aquifer 3, when you have the diffusion factors similar to each other but vice versa, the behavior of uh, wave propagation will be very interesting. As you can see, uh, during the distance, the head propagation is different, but the starting point and the end point will reach together. So if the heterogeneous aquifers are very similar to each other, in the middle, you can expect to have different head propagations, but the starting point and the end point, usually what we have seen, are always similar to each other. Uh, I brought this software to show you a demonstration as well. For example, assume if we set all the diffusion factors to 10, meter square per second and we have the distance of the well here to this to, to the source that we have approximately let's say 100 meter if we have a sudden jump of one meter in the river we can see that how the head propagation starts in the aquifer now that the diffusion factors are all similar to each other we have a homogeneous aquifer so simply with a simple complementary error function you can model this and you can see as time passes, for example, now near 500 seconds has passed, you can expect to have 0 0.356 meter of water in a well in a distance of 100 meter from the river. But what happens if the case changes and we have a heterogeneous aquifer? For instance, assume that in the middle layer, instead of, for example, the diffusion factor of 10, we have uh, a more compact, for example, sound with lower diffusion, let's say, for example, one. As you can see now, the head propagation, when it reaches to the middle uh, segment, will have harder, uh, it will be harder for it to propagate in that segment, yeah? Now, if we play with this, you can easily make any type of models that you want. For example, if at the beginning we have a lower uh, diffusion factor, let's say, for example, very small amount, 0 0.1, everything changes. As you can see now, 2,000 seconds has passed, but in the well 100 meter far from uh, the source, the water level is 0 0.1. 12 meter and it's increasing very uh, slowly due to uh, the, the low diffusion that we have in the first segment. If we make it vice versa after these seconds that has passed, for example, at the beginning we have 10, but at the end we have the 0 0.1. Again, as I said, you can see you have similar results but with different uh, uh, pressure head distribution during uh, within the confined aquifer. One more element that we add to this model is that over time, uh, the head in the source, in the river, for example, that we have here, may drop. For example, let's assume that after, uh, let's say, 3,000 and... 700, if the water level drops, due to the drop that we have, as you can see now, the head pressure distribution in the model modifies itself and tries to balance itself by the river, the source of the water that we have. Uh, we try to make this application as comprehensive as possible, so for any type of models, easily can be done. And this is really the only the three, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation here. Thank you very much.